This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hello, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So today we are talking about how black women are kept strong and independent. See that that line right there? That's not your idea of black woman. It really is not. That didn't come from you. It didn't come from your foremothers. Black women didn't make that. We're going to see who makes that and who pushes that because I'm going to share with you a trailer for a new show called Harlem that I think is going to premiere on Amazon Prime. And I want you to listen very closely to this um, trailer promo. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and then I'm going to be back with my perspective. A strong black woman is resilient, independent, and capable. Girl, you look good. Like black China going to court good. I'm going to change. In 21st century Harlem, we sisters can be fierce, be in charge, call the shots, get what we want. Every woman has value. And you pay it in cash or paper. Girl guy, girl guy, girl guy. Okay, so you were able to watch that clip. If that was not a promotion of the lost value system, specifically to black women, then I don't know what is. They start out with the strong and independent trope. Black women can be strong, and independent, and capable, and be in charge, and give what they want, and be in control, and call the shots. Isn't that all the problems that we're dealing with right now in the black community with black women thinking that they're supposed to be in control, calling the shots and doing everything? This is the same group of black women that don't want to be held accountable for nothing. It, no decision that they ever make in their life is their fault. Yet they want to be in control, calling the shots and, and, and directing something and in control of something. <laughs> Boop! Where they do that at? And y'all still think that's y'all idea to be strong and independent? When this is what is being pushed to you, this is being spoon fed to you. You realize this, don't you? This is not life imitate. This is not art imitating life. This is how they want your life to imitate the art that they put before you. This is an all black female cast. Not white women, not Asian women, not Hispanic women. This is not an all white woman where they talking about being strong and independent and you can and you capable and you get what you want. They're not telling white women that. I wonder why they're not doing that. I wonder why there is not an equivalent show that targets Asian women, that targets any other demographic of women. Notice what was being said. Every woman has a value and you pay it in uh, cash or PayPal. So your value as a female, as a woman, as a human being is being boiled down to what somebody can route you through cash app and PayPal. And y'all think this is a good show. Y'all gonna tune in and watch this show and act like you learning something deep about yourself when this is nothing but a re this is this is just uh what's the word i'm looking for a reinforcement that's the word i'm looking for of the lost value system you push they're pushing an agenda on black women that effectively ruins their families by fueling the idea that you're that men are unnecessary 
that they're a hindrance to the black woman's progress as a whole. That's what that strong and independent trope is designed to do. And you can take it or you can leave it. You can think that it's just television and it's just a thing. They call it a program for a reason because you're being programmed both overtly in your conscious mind and you're being programmed in your subconscious mind. All of this stuff is going to your subconscious. To tell you that you're strong and independent and capable and don't need anybody, they basically telling you that through the lost value system, you don't need your family because that's where your love and support come from. We're just going to show you the loneliness and the bitterness. And we're going to disguise that as sisterhood and being close with your friends and things of that nature. But all of these women are also under the lost value system. So under that, if all of y'all, if all 10 of y'all, five of y'all, eight of y'all, or however many of them are, you are, none of you are living by the 10 life values but all of you are living through the lost value system. So none of you got no truth. None of you are going to be able to guide each other into the way that you really should go. No one, not one of your friends, since all of y'all are under the lost value system, is going to be able to pull your coattail and say, baby, mm -mm, no, nah, baby, you my girl. And I just can't see you going down this road. I got to be the one to let you know and hip you to what's going on. This is how the sisterhood of hyenas last because all of you are under the lost value system because you pre prescribe and subscribe to this foolishness. And you think that this is some type of, you know what I'm saying? They, they're portraying it like, well, do we just tell in the reality of black women's lives? That's all we're doing. This is the life that they want you to live. No men, no children, no family, no support, no community. No neighbors, no good neighborhood, no strong, solid foundation, no covering of no man, unprotected, able to be assaulted with any type of, whether physically assaulted or assaulted by programming. They just want you open and they're trying to convince you that your girlfriends can give you the four P's where a man can't. That your, you can get protection from your friends or provision from your friends or problem solving from your friends or the procreation in terms of affection or love or care only from your girlfriends. You don't need a man telling you you're strong and independent is just another way of saying black women. You don't need men around you or with you or the help of them or the assistance of them. You don't need their masculine energy, which again translates in you, black women basically as a group, only seeking out black men in destructive or chaotic ways. Because again, we're being reinforced under the lost value system with this. You're being reprogrammed. Every so often you get re-brainwashed with black women don't need their families. How long are you going to sit back and celebrate things like this that teach you how to disregard all of the components and elements that you need to build not only individual family units, but those individual family units are there to build communities. That what, that's what communities are built on. I bet you some of the women in this show is going to be single mothers and they're going to glorify that and whatever man is the father, he's going to be the bad guy for walking out or whatever, or he's just going to be an inept guy. He's either going to be abusive he's either or absent, or he's going to be there, but he's inept. He's a goofball. He's a loser. So he can't contribute nothing to her life and nothing to their child's life. Promoting to black women this girl power stuff. When in reality, the sisterhood under the lost value system don't care about each other either. Your so-called sister be the first one to throw you up under the bus. Tell me I'm lying. But this is how they promote all of this stuff. They want black women's lives to, to, to imitate this. They want us lonely. They want us just suffering. Yeah, this is quote unquote cool when you're in your 20s. What about when you're in your 50s? What about when you're in your 60s? What about when you're in your 40s? 
and that girlfriend high life is it, it, not so appealing anymore. Going to kick it and going on girls trips and you know what I'm saying? To go get torn out, torn out the frame by other men in other places. So you can say you have experience and you're well-traveled, AKA I got towed out the frame by some strange men and I get to come back to my you know, hometown and not be seen as this slur because I was able to do that in Jamaica or I was able to do that in Brazil or I was able to do that in whatever other place I visited. Girl, let's go on a girl trip. Da, 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 da. Your girlfriend can't provide. She can't cover you. I don't care how many shows like this they do. Your girlfriend, I don't care how cool y'all are. She cannot cover you with masculinity. I don't care how fake masculine both of y'all are. She can't cover you. She can't give you four Ps because that is something only men have. And only men have the capability of giving it because it's part of their male nature. It's part of their nature. It's part of their nature, not yours. This is just another way to make sure that black women are keeping up with the program of being too masculine to be covered by anybody, let alone black men. Other men aren't coming to cover you either. Note to make black women as undesirable as possible. Physically, you're pretty, but your attitude, your demeanor, your lack of femininity, all of these things are undesirable. They just got through promoting all of the traits that make men of any race or culture not cover black women and not take them seriously, only take them for sex and only take them for trash. In control. That mean you're dominant. All of that stuff is in your masculine energy. Strong. Strength is a masculine thing. Power is for feminine. You're strong. You're independent. You're in control. You call the shot. That's all man stuff. That is all things that women want men to do. Right or wrong. And they got you sitting up here congratulating and celebrating in a trope that is designed to destroy you and your men and your children and you celebrate it and you sit here and give shows like that ratings. This is why they put a show out like that because they know your butt is gonna watch it. And say that it's empowering for you to see the women on the screen live out their lives and what they and they're gonna sensationalize your masculinity and your inability to keep your families together, your inability to be married. All I bet you, every last one of them chicks is gonna have problems with relationships. Somebody gonna be part of the rainbow, and the rest of the women are gonna have these failed, repeatedly failed relationships, and it's gonna be all the man's fault. She going to be blameless. Nobody's going to, she's not going to be held accountable for any part that she plays. If so, it'll be so minuscule. And everything will be everybody else's problem heaped on to the black woman as to why she can't keep herself together. But as but long as you're strong and you're independent, you will make it through, making life harder than what it's got to be. They do not target other women like this. You're the target. You need to wake up. Open your eyes. See what this is. This is not funny. This is not cute. This is not here to empower you. This is not here to help you. This is here to keep black families struggling and unable to form properly, to keep the relationships between black men and black women dysfunctional and at odds and transactional at best. That is what these types of shows are for. And unless and until we as black women wake up and understand that we're going to keep being at the bottom. We're going to keep being trash. We're going to keep passing down the lost value system as a culture where other women do not do this. 
So sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.